I have got Mrs. Evelyn here. Evelyn Brielle, my sweet princess. She is my rebel girl. And that's why she's got the skull and crossbones. And it says, bad to the bow. And she's got her little Mary Jane socks on by Circo. There you go. You can even see all the fuzzies. So, we just wanted to pop on and see how everybody is doing. And just kind of go on the tag of what Reborns mean to you. Or what the Reborn hobby are collecting. Man. If, if you don't know me, or you don't know my story, everybody's got a story. And I was diagnosed with uh, my first cancer in um, 2003, then 2010, and here on since. Every year I have stuff removed, and I have lots of complications. So with that being said, back in 2003, I couldn't have kids anymore. I had they had that ability taken away from me surgically. So I went to surgical menopause at the age of 25. That was real fun, I tell you. Anyways, um, so things um, went on and I started researching, you know, fake babies, honestly, is what, you know, I typed in. And all the reborn stuff started it was just a little bit it wasn't too much it wasn't like it is now but a little bit of stuff came up and so i got on ebay and i typed it in i was so shocked to see that this fake baby came up and i was like oh my gosh so i got the baby and she was red as a lobster and I didn't care because to me that's how they were supposed to look. So um, what I did was research further and started studying the art of it. And I started making them. And I'm telling you, it filled such a void, such a depression in my life that I can't even explain. And I used to think that collecting meant having every single kid out there say hi maple meatballs hey that's her nickname meatballs but i used to thought it meant having you know hundreds of dolls and some people do that and they love it and that's them you know that's that's good for them i'm happy for them but I used to be the same way, and I was just, it was so new to me and so fresh, and I wanted every baby and every single thing, and, you know, and so, yeah, so y'all have seen me, those of you that have kept up with me have seen me go through plenty of babies, um, uh, you know, uh, downsizing, and then I upsize, it's just a back and forth thing, and there were a, it was one certain doll that I had that was a forever, forever baby. And it seems like once she was gone, my reborn mayhem, it just went crazy. I could, I still to this day have not filled that void. Like the little sil China silicone I have, her name is Colette, but um, she's not Colette. She never will be Colette. And I, I hold on to her only for that reason that, you know, I associated her with replacing her as um, my Colette. But she's never going to be that, and I'm starting to realize that. So, because I love the look and the feel of the Reborns a lot better. Um, it's just one of those things I've switched back and forth on, but... I think at this point, you know, I'm, I'm there. I'm ready to say, that's how I feel, Maple. You better be a good girl. So now that I've got the twins, my gorgeous, gorgeous twins, this is Seth, and this is Brennan Parker. This one still has no middle name. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on that, but I really wanted to do this tag here. So this is little silicone baby, the one I refer to as Colette. Um, not, I'm undecided. I, I th you know, like I said, they're high maintenance, and Texas is hot and humid, and 
I just don't know. So I'm undecided on her. And this is Mrs. Lucky, my sweetheart. And Robin is actually in the bedroom. And then we got Penelope over there. But anyways, back to the tag. Basically, it, it means so much to me, more than words can ever say. Um, I can finally tell y'all with my whole heart, and I know y'all are going to be laughing from east coast to the west coast but uh i i'm happy with my collection as it is now aside from i'm not sure on the silicone thing i think i strictly want to be a reborn mama and i've got my twin boys that i've always wanted in my entire life and i've got evelyn so i think y'all aren't going to be seeing a box opening meet from me in a very 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 long time if at all i mean you just never know i do want an open-eyed baby other than robin uh newborn sized eventually i will say that and then that's it guys so i hope this video made sense on what it means to me um it means everything it's gotten me through a lot it's led me to great people and look at this mess I've been unpacking anyways it's led me to wonderful 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 things and I wouldn't change it for the world so thank you all and love you take care God bless always bye bye